a muamua, which is an object that we detected in space that you believe could possibly have been extraterrestrial. An asteroid was discovered coming into our solar system. It had a very funny shape. It shaped like a cigar. Maybe there's somebody inside this thing. Maybe they've come to visit. Oumuamua, the object that has left scientists and astronomers bewildered, seems not to be far away. It was the very first object that it moved too fast to be bound to the sun. Very first object that we have found coming to us from interstellar space, from other places. Upon careful consideration and research, scientists seem to have gotten a new trajectory for the odd, bizarre celestial object. The first time we had evidence of an asteroid, an object that was coming at a very high velocity into our solar system. However, while that might be a cause for excitement, it seems that the object is coming back to our solar system at twice the speed it left, threatening to crash. What does this mean for Earth? Is there truly no stopping it? Join us as we tell you all that's bound to happen with the Oumuamua. The possible existence of aliens. The subject of aliens, distant civilizations, and sophisticated technologies that are beyond the reach of humans has been a subject of speculation for years. You can say the reason why the subject has always been deemed speculative is because the evidence proving their existence has always been elusive. At the least, that is what we thought. It turns out that millions of light years away, there is a rather odd object that might finally cement the authenticity of extraterrestrial beings once and for all. This object, or as some would say, an alien probe, is what scientists came to know as Oumuamua. Think of the theoretical alien probe, more like our voyages, and several other observatories that we have sent into space. If the Oumuamua is confirmed to be an alien probe, it will most likely mean that a distant civilization somewhere is watching us, probably checking for viable resources, a new home, or something way more substantial in our solar system. Interesting, right? Looking at things, the creepy nature of the thought of being watched, we can certainly deal with. However, the most frightening part, which would possibly mean the object crashing onto Earth, is not so much. This is the major cause of concern among scientists, and you get to know why it's completely valid. Looking into the days when the Oumuamua was first sighted, you can say it did cause quite an uproar at the time. However, the excitement couldn't be compared to when Avi Loeb tagged the object to be of an extraterrestrial origin. Of course, at the time, many waved off the theory as illogical. Still, as time passed, and as many scientists were unable to deduce the nature of the object, they started to look at the possibilities from the Israeli-American physicist's view. As a theoretical physicist, Avi Loeb has always been an enthusiast and believer in extraterrestrial life. In his words, we simply haven't dedicated the proper resources yet. That is why we are yet to get any evidence that they exist. He believes that the Oumuamua should be the hint and driving force that should plunge us into the universe in search of answers. As a matter of fact, Avi Loeb isn't the only believer. Still, one who strongly believes in life outside of Earth is a Swiss space researcher who happens to be NASA's longest-serving associate administrator for the Science Mission Directorate, Dr. Thomas Zurbuchen. The man came to the conclusion of the existence of aliens after listening to various accounts from professionals pertaining to the sightings of UFOs in the sky. It is one thing to discredit the accounts of regular citizens on the matter. However, from the accounts of Navy pilots, he admitted that might turn out to be a regretful, hasty decision in the future, as he strongly believes something is out there. You should know that while Oumuamua has been tagged as a possible alien probe or spacecraft, it isn't really the only odd object that traverses our solar system. There is one other event that caused quite a ruckus in the scientific community in 2019, 21 Borisov. The only major difference between 21 Borisov and Oumuamua 
is that while the latter's origin and nature still remain unknown, 21 Borisov was confirmed to be an interstellar comet. Apparently, it bears a bright coma and a distinct tail, features which are peculiar to comets. That being said, you should know that there were also once stories about 21 Borisov being related to extraterrestrial life. However, the thought was ruled out after proper observations. We can't say so much about Umuamua, and you get to know why that is the case. Meanwhile, you might probably wonder, what trajectory did Umuamua follow exactly to get to us? We get to fill you in. Sit back and enjoy. The journey of Umuamua and its unknown true nature. Like many other strange objects that find their way into our solar system, the Umuamua was once believed to have come from the Kuiper Belt. The belief was that it was a fragment that was ejected from a larger body within the Kuiper Belt, a region beyond Neptune that is filled with icy bodies and remnants from the solar system's formation. However, that narrative has changed. Indeed, scientists weren't able to learn much about Umuamua, but from the little analysis they did on the object's trajectory, they were able to deduce that it was not from our solar system. Particularly, the high velocity pointed to the fact that it must have been traveling for millions of years. As a matter of fact, the Umuamua traces back to a possible encounter with four stars, and that which is the closest is the red dwarf star HIP 3757. While that much is known about the trajectory, it hasn't proven easy to pinpoint its precise origin. Furthermore, let's say we go with Avi Loeb's view of it being an alien probe or a spacecraft. If aliens from Andromeda Galaxy should send a probe from their civilization, it will most likely take at least 2.5 million light years for it to get to our solar system. When you think about it, that's at a speed of 6 trillion miles per light year. Considering that fact, it would make the Oumuamua one of the oldest indestructible objects that make its way into our solar system. Fascinating, isn't it? For it to be able to withstand such harsh conditions, it means our unknown other universe neighbors must have put a lot of work into its construction. That aside, you should note that why Avi Loeb's view of the object is valid because its path was not in a neat circle. Instead, it was hyperbolic and not affected by its gravity in any way. As interesting as all of this might sound, all of these details about the object were learned only in a few days. Apparently, Oumuamua was first spotted on October 19, 2017 by astronomer Rob Werick from the University of Hawaii. At the time he spotted the object, it was exactly 21 miles away from Earth, and it was moving at a speed of 54.2 kilometers per second. It was as it grew closer that the Hubble telescope was able to capture the images that astronomers and scientists used in studying it. Still, they could only learn so much. At that distance, the object was too tiny, so the pictures weren't really as bold, not to mention how the speed didn't really help matters. While they were hoping to further study the object, the craziest of things happened. At precisely 15 miles away from Earth, the object catapulted its way away from our solar system. Then, it became clear that there were several things that might be involved. Some believe that being a spacecraft, the object might have accelerated away from our solar system. On the other hand, others believe that the object might have gotten a boost from the sun's gravity. In truth, there are a series of contradicting opinions. Talking about contradicting opinions, such is the same with the nature of the object. While it's really being considered a comet, there seems to be no feature or characteristics backing that claim. Oumuamua just doesn't release water or dust in its tail, not like its mysterious distant companion 21 Borisov. However, some believe that the gases were stripped off over billions of years ago. Still, it's pretty difficult to confirm such a theory. Another theory about the object is that of Alan Jackson and Stephen Desch from Arizona University. They believe that what Rob Werrick saw was a fragment of a Pluto-like object which was blown away from Pluto. In their theory, they believe that the fragment must have been sent flying due to a massive impact from a bigger celestial body. It doesn't end there. Daryl Seligman from Cornell University and Jennifer Bergner from Berkeley University 
had a few words to say on the subject. They believe that Oumuamua is a product of surface ice in interstellar space created by cosmic rays. In their words, the object is mostly fueled by the gradual release of hydrogen gas, which is trapped in the water molecules. In truth, the theories go on and on and on, with many posing to be mostly guesses that they are factual. All of these strongly point towards the consideration of Avi Loeb and Samuel Bialy's theory of the object being a solar-powered spacecraft. Despite the contradicting theories, that which remains certain is the fact that the object is heading to the constellation Pegasus in the deeper depths of the Kuiper Belt, a region beyond Neptune. Or at least, that's what we thought. Having not really learned the complete nature of the Kuiper Belt, we might be in for a surprise, one that comes with a big bang right after crashing into our planet. How possible could that be? Chill. We get to help you see things from a deeper scientific perspective, the mad scientist's perspective. The possibility of Oumuamua crashing when we talk about a mad genius, we are pointing hands at Albert Einstein. He proposed the theory of wormholes, cheat codes for space travel that exist in space. While his theory has not yet been proven to date, it's believed that if these portals existed, they could possibly explain how objects are able to travel millions of light years ahead. Imagine what that would mean for us we would be able to explore distant planets and civilizations at a whim. Sounds pretty great, right? But just as we might be able to use these wormholes, there's also a likelihood that the celestial objects might have been passing through the very same theoretical wormholes. So, let's say Umamua gets into a wormhole with a destination, Earth. You can clearly see how things could get gloom quickly for our planet. In all its entirety, there's a possibility we might see Umamua again. And just like Einstein would say, never say never. Do you think it's possible for Umamua to come back crashing? What's your view on wormholes in general? We'd like you to share your opinions in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, click the next video that appears on your screen you will enjoy it.